we've got our psoas major with a lumbar vertebra, so that makes them a quarter half stay. Again, cutability is important, but remember in beef that marbling is so darn important. This was a very challenging class. We ended up placing this class of porterhouse steaks one, two, three, and four. Now, the problem is with four. He's got a big old ribeye and he's got a big old solus major, but look at how much tail fat we've got right in there, guys. And then look how big that bone is. So if you took off the tail fat and jerked out that bone and did that to every one of these, he just wouldn't have as much, he, he just wouldn't have as much product, okay? So we put him on the bottom. Then we came up here and said, well, in actuality, you could agree, and I agree, that you could maybe have a little bit more marbling here, but look at the size of your psoas major. That's still edible meat. So one over two with a two point cut there. So if you flip that pair, you got a 48. You could write, we write reasons in meat judging. We don't talk reasons. So then when you place two over three, that's more of a four point cut. How can we justify a four point cut? Look at the size of your psoas major. You don't have much of him there. You got a lot more of him there. In addition, when you compare the size of that bone, he runs all the way down there, whereas this guy stops right there. So then we're coming back to plate waste, right? Can't eat that bone. So one, two, three, and four. Between three and four, there's a five point cut. And that is a teaching moment. Anytime you go to a contest, I don't care if you're livestock judging or you're meat judging, when they put a big cut on a pair like that, there is something there that you need to have seen if you switch that pair. And in this case, it was this big old bone and that fat right in there. How's that sound? 